Yeah, scored referee. Here is Backinson. Looks for a quick pass into the feet of Wells, but it's intercepted. Ivan Tony tracking back, and here's Marcus Fors. A whisker away from the post as Dan Bentley dives down to his right hand side. And Marcus Fors is very close to reaching double figures for the season. Here is Conway into Palmer. Sneaks through to Naki Wells. Gets Bristol City's shot off, and it will be a corner though. It's 30 seconds remaining of this first half. Well, we're rewarded this time for a high press Tommy Conway Alex Scott doing some great work and Naki Wells is everything right he's looking to just hit the target Jensen breaks away from the challenge rebounds into the path of Canyos Viner well positioned Masengo away but only as far as Norgar his fours gets the shot off Ivan Tony around Dan Bentley was he onside he was he opens the scoring and he breaks the record for championship goals Ivan Tony 31 for the season and you can see how much it means to his teammates Bristol City undone eventually as we approach the hour mark Ivan Tony you have to say incredible striker an incredible season Bristol City's robustness is eventually broken down well that's what number nines do they're just opportunists in the box of any moment like that and it's really unfortunate Alex Scott looks to clear it and Jensen blocks the clearance Canos picks the ball up and Brentford keep the attack alive it's quite a scrappy goal you can see there's a lot of blocks but Ivan Tony scored so many of these goals this season just off a little error or a little deflection Swung in by Jensen, falls for Norgard. What a save by Dan Bentley. What a save. You seen in the highlight reel just before the game, Nottingham Forest, something similar, where his agility in spring is just superb. Buemo calling for it from Jan out there, but finds Canyos who swings it in towards oh, the back yeah. post. And again, Dan Bentley heading for a man of the match performance. Tell you what, that armband must be like a superhero cape on him because at the moment he's just keeping us in the game. This is incredible because he sees this last seconds, last seconds. Came on to, for Fosu Henry, I should say. Here's Jensen, finds Sorensen. Approaching the final 10 minutes here at Ashton Gate, the final 10 minutes of this championship campaign. Condes into Embuemo. Really neat footwork, and it's a superb goal, you have to say. One touch football, and there's not much Dan Bentley could do about that. Disappointment again for Bristol City, but a quite remarkable finish. Yeah, that's just a good goal. Um, there's a small little gap of war Edwards leaves up just there, just that moment there, and that allows that forward pass. And the rest are just brilliance from a team that are. The very top of their game one touch play around the box quick little combinations and a good finish you see how quick it all happens players being dragged into different positions and a one two three around the back of baker when the first team were playing 352 early in the season we op we opted to use 352 as our formation as well here come brentford looking for their third it's canyos fires home at Dan Bentley's near post and he's been involved in everything positive today for the bees he gets his reward falls to his knees in celebration and he picks up his ninth goal of the campaign you can just see the pockets that are starting to pick up and overloading that wide area wing back to wing back to finish at the back post and something we alluded to in the first half that when Brentford are in crossing positions, those wing-backs arrive so late that they're so hard to mark. So Sessegnon has to be inside and defend. Unmarked back post. Young players can be very proud of themselves. Players making debuts, wanting to establish themselves as championship football players. This is the first step. A few players that fancy their chances here. Baker heads it across, it's Britain. And he scores on his Bristol City debut. What a moment for the youngster. 
He's come on, he's put in some really robust challenges. He doesn't celebrate too much as his side at 3 1 behind, but what a moment for him. Love it. Louis Britton scores goals, ladies and gentlemen. A fantastic moment. Tommy Conway last week away at Millwall. And this time it's the turn of Louis Britton.